Hey everybody, now today's video is a little bit different. I was scrolling through YouTube the other day and I saw an interesting Halo Infinite video. It was Halo Infinite before 343 patched out everything that was fun. And I noticed in the video, there was a couple of things that the video didn't cover. So today I'm going through every single fun bug, glitch or exploit that people found interesting that has been removed or will not be coming to the game in the future. I feel like a lot of these bugs give Halo Infinite some real character an identity and make the game more interesting. Some of course should 100% be patched. Others I feel like should have been left in, but I'll let you guys decide some really fun stuff in here. So let's jump into it. Now, first up today is flying a pelican. I think every single person watching this video wishes you could still fly a pelican in Halo Infinite. But unfortunately 343 patched it out. It was fully functional. If you got on top of the pelican when it dropped in a vehicle, you got to fly it around, splatter enemies. It was such a shame that it got removed. The next feature that will not be coming is split screen co-op. Now split screen co-op has been a staple in every single Halo game. And on Halo Infinite, it's 90% completed. 3 said this will not be coming to the game. I hope one day, when Halo Infinite receives the MCC treatment, they revisit this and add it to the game. Now next up today is the Chopper EMP launch. My personal favorite that I'm showing in today's video, and I'm still disappointed that this was removed from the game. I get why, because in multiplayer, if someone EMPs a chopper, it goes flying across the map. Super fun to do in campaign, but I understand that it may have annoyed players in multiplayer. It also raises the question whether things that get patched in the multiplayer should also be patched in the campaign. In past Halo titles, there are things that work in the campaign that do not work in matchmaking. However, with Halo Infinite, it's a blanket rule. If it gets patched, it's for both campaign and multiplayer. Another fun one, which I'm not surprised got patched, was being able to push a flag with a vehicle. It led to some pretty funny flag captures because they didn't know where the flag was going and you could quickly capture three flags with a ghost by just pushing it across the map. The clip you're watching actually on screen is from the first flight test of Halo Infinite. I'm not surprised it got patched. Oh, that is so broken, oh my God. Next up we have the Fusion Coil launch and I strongly believe this should still be in the game. It doesn't impact multiplayer really at all and visually it looks stunning. In the awesome games done quick speedrun, this was shown off so much and everyone really loved it. And to this day, I'm so surprised that it has been patched. It is one of my favorite glitches for sure. There wasn't much of an explanation given as to why this glitch was removed from the game. In that same GDQ speedrun, a lot of the 343 employees said it looked awesome. Next one I thought I'd just throw in for the fun of it. Throwing dynamo grenades multiplied the wet war sign on recharge, bazaar, and other maps. The more dynamos you threw, the more signs would appear. The next thing that got patched, and it actually ruined a lot of speedruns, was using the ground pound grapple feature to actually pinch through the floor. Now what was funny, was the only ones that got patched were the ones along the speedrunning route. There are a lot of bugs that were only patched to stop speedrunners running the game. There are other places in the game where some of the bug or glitches still work. If you want to do it today, and you're wondering how I'm recording this footage, some of it's from old videos, but I've actually got a down patch version of the game, so I can still do all of the stuff you're seeing on screen. Next up, we have one of the funniest bugs. It is the rapid Halo Infinite melee glitch from the first flight. And well, I don't really have to say too much because it's very obvious as to what you can do with this. But it's like you're an anime character, swinging melees, going full Dragon Ball Z on them. You can rapid input melees. And of course, that's no surprise it got patched. But I would like to see it return for custom games because that would be really fun for Sumo. The final glitch I'll be showing off today actually still works. It's a teleport warp that actually teleports you to the end of the game by displacing your character, restarting the mission, and you can basically skip the entirety of the campaign. Now, what did 343 do to stop this? They added a check, so if you haven't completed the other missions and you perform this bug, it will not load the third last mission. So guys, that brings us to the end of today's video. I'm not surprised a lot of these got patched. Let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite. I'll be back again tomorrow with a brand new video, but thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.